Well, I got to tell you, I uh, last couple of years I've been searching for a really good minnow pattern. And uh, I've been searching for a lot of different materials. I've used synthetics and some llama and, you know, all these different things. And just never really happy with, uh, with the stuff I'd found. Well, uh, just recently I've been messing around with this special material. It comes originally from China. And uh, it's really good material for tying minnows. So I'm going to tie a minnow with this material here. Uh, but first I'm going to have my little minnow helper come over here with me. Napoleon, come here. Come. Come. Come here. Jump up. Oh, good boy. Yeah. Look who's going to tie a fly. Yes. This is my minnow helper. Napoleon is a Shih Tzu. And he's got some lovely minnow hair growing on him. Now I find that for uh, for cutting Shih Tzu hair, the best are these uh, utility scissors. And um, when it comes to cutting dog hair, you want to uh, cut it fairly close to his skin. And so I'm just gonna get a little piece out of there. Stay, stay, oh good there, good boy. Nice, that's, look at that minnow hair you gave me, good doggy. Now that's um, kind of for the, the back side of the, you know, it's a little darker. And for the underside, I want some white. So I can go ahead and grab his tail fibers. Stay. Gonna get hurt. Okay, stay. Oh yeah, that's a good piece right there. That is a good piece. Oh, just smell that fresh dog hair. He's been rolling around outside in the snow, in the mud, and sniffing other dogs. It's good stuff. So we've got a little darker and some lighter stuff. And we can also get some right up beneath his ears. It's a little bit grayer. We'll cut some of that off there. That'll be a nice little speck right there. Okay, good doggy, down. Get down, okay, good boy. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and use a uh, size eight or 10 nymph or streamer hook. We're gonna tie on our uh, Shih Tzu hair and uh, tie up this minnow. All right, to get started with this fly, we're using a size eight, 5263 uh, hook. And I'm just gonna use some regular uh, eight dot thread. So uh, first, I'm going to flip the hook upside down and I'm going to add the white underbelly of the fly in first. So I have my hair and Shih Tzu hair is really good. It doesn't have a lot of guard hairs. So some of those I will want to kind of just strip out of here. Guard hairs like that. And then I just want to put this on the bottom, kind of splitting the hook like that and tie that in right at the middle of the hook. And I want to work my thread forward just a little bit, about that much. And then I'm going to come in here and snip the excess. Okay. Now I'll work my way up, kind of cover that off a little bit. And now I'm going to take the other swath of hair that I got. Now, sometimes it'll help if you let your dog roll in some manure or even power bait. Uh, you just give them a thing of power bait and roll around in. <laughs> okay, so I've got my under side tied in here, which is going to be the white, obviously. And now I can flip that back over. And I want to tie in now a couple of uh, pieces for a lateral line. And so to do that, I'm going to grab some... Uh, crystal flash and my Shih Tzu dog does not have crystal flash fur so I have to buy it at the store so I'm gonna go ahead and tie in these two one on each side and so what I will do is I'm going to take the section uh, that I clipped from his body and this is a little wavier but it's gonna have a little bit of dark in it 
I will take the darker piece that I clipped from around his ear and tie that in a little bit further. What I like to do on this Shih Tzu minnow is I'm going to tie in a little bit darker color for the top and to do that I'm just going to use some EP fibers because my Shih Tzu doesn't have the quantity of dark fibers that I need. So, And then as a final little thing I can grab some H2O flash from Fly Tires Dungeon as a little collar beard on this minnow. Just a little bit of it. And whether this is gills or blood or whatever, who knows. That just gives a little color variation. Okay, now one trick with these EP fibers that you can do, or with any type of uh, minnow uh, hair or material, is grab that and bend it in half. Remember I'm going for a taper here so I can have this side a little longer than that. And this is also going to help build up this head area. So I slap that right there like so. And tie that down. I'm going to go back over it a little bit. What I need to do, I've got the, the white is obviously a little too long. It's kind of where I want this to be lengthwise. Now I'm going to grab my thinning shears. These are these funky kind you can get the haircutting place. And I'm going to work it like this to create a taper. So there our minnow starts to take shape a little bit more. Okay. okay, for the eyes I'm just going to use these holographic eyes. And I'm just going to place one on each side. right near where the hair is tied in. Now for the last part here, I'm just going to take some of this uh, UV Not Sense from Loon. I'm going to work this into the head area over the eyes. You don't need a ton. Okay, now as it starts to make its way around there. You can also take a bodkin if you need and kind of work that in because it's not going to harden on us yet. So once I've got that done and it looks okay, the head's okay, everything's consistent and you may want to rotate it a couple times, you take your UV light and you slap that on the head. And within a few seconds it's set. And there we go. A little easier than using epoxy, but it'll harden right up with that light, especially if you take it out into some sunlight. So there's our Oh Shih Tzu Minnow.